Thank you so much uh, for this opportunity, Madam Chair. I will not make the same mistake. I'll introduce myself first. <laughs> I'm N.S. Napanai of Cyber Sati Foundation from India. Um, so the, very briefly, uh, what I wanted to share in this session was that I was deeply concerned with the way the uh, negotiations went in January. So it is really heartening with just the two days of sessions we have seen. In this uh, concluding session, um, uh, a very positive note and a proactive movement forward. From Cyber Sati Foundation's perspective, we would like to submit that we need this convention and we truly hope that this convention will see the light of day very quickly. We believe that uh, there is a lot of intersection between Budapest Convention and the ad hoc committee's uh, proposed convention and the additional provisions that it brings to the fore, particularly in the context of uh, international cooperation, cooperation not just in terms of investigations and prosecutions, but a very forward-thinking provision in terms of cooperation in capacity building and uh, in initiatives to ensure online safety are very critical. These are the value additions that this convention brings to the table. And hence, we believe that this is critical. We also believe that for those countries which did not believe in the Budapest Convention, India is one of them, uh, here is an opportunity where they have participated um, extensively and therefore adaptation is possible and it is surely bound to help us in terms of international uh, enforcements. As far as uh, the uh, issues that have been raised in the context of data protection or fundamental rights, I come from one of the largest, probably the largest democracy and I must say that some of the best laid plans in terms of due process are open to abuse. Merely because a provision can be abused is not a ground to reject it completely. We will have to put in checks and balances and ensure that the protective measures are in place. And that's where the Balancing Act, I believe, comes to the fore and not in totally eschewing remedies or solutions. As far as the uh, Convention's approach is concerned in terms of including within itself a protective measure in, for inclusion of fundamental rights in municipal laws and also the balancing act it brings in terms of data protection to say, for instance, that if a particular country's laws are not commensurate for protection of the data that's being shared, the sharing country is entitled to put in effective uh, uh, checks and balances or mandatory requirements. I, for one, see this being used in terms of data sharing with India too, though we now have a data protection law. With respect to child protection, I've already voiced this before. We have seen a case law emanating in India which has distinguished between viewing child sexual abuse material and uh, creating the content. And I believe that implementation of the provisions under the convention in signatory countries through their municipal laws is going to create a better understanding on what amounts to child sexual abuse material and how we intend to protect it. It has been an honor to have been part of the deliberations over the various committee meetings and um, I hope to be able to contribute further during these uh, sessions and it's really heartening to hear uh, from the chair that we will be given an opportunity going forward to thank you so much for this.